All right. Welcome back, everyone. We've got a really fun one today. Uh, I'm excited about this. Yeah, me too. One of our listeners actually sent in a whole bunch of Mac Excel shortcuts. Oh, cool. They're obviously looking to uh, kind of up their spreadsheet game. Nice. Become a master. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we thought we'd take a deep dive into these and see what we could learn. Yeah. I love keyboard shortcuts. It's amazing how much faster you can work once you start using them. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. When I first saw the topic, I thought, okay, this is going to be useful, mm -hmm. but will it be exciting? Right. And then I started looking through them. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, there's some really... Yeah, there are some uh, hidden gems in there. Yeah, there are some real hidden yeah. gems. Like command plus T to create a table instantly. That's one of my favorites. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. For sure. And it's funny because I think tables are one of those things that people kind of gloss over. Oh, yeah, a table. Yeah. But it's just aesthetics. It just looks pretty. Right. But it's not just aesthetic. No, it yeah. unlocks all these amazing features in Excel. Like what? Like sorting and filtering your data is so much easier. Right. And referencing data from a table is way simpler than trying to reference a bunch of random cells. Okay, so it's actually like a really important... It's like a foundational thing. Fundamental building block. Exactly. Okay, so command plus T, instant the table. Instant table. What else? Let's see. Um, Control plus command plus space bar. What's that do? Inserts emojis. Emojis in a spreadsheet. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that one. I know it sounds weird, but think about it. You can use emojis to visually mark important cells. Okay. Or create a quick legend, mm -hmm. right? Instead of having to write out a whole explanation. Okay. I guess that makes sense. If you're sharing it with other people. Exactly. It's kind of a fun way to make it a little bit more user friendly. It's like adding a little bit of personality to your spreadsheets. Okay, I'm starting to see how these shortcuts are more than just about like saving a few seconds here and there. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, it unlocks different ways of working with Excel. Exactly. Or like different features that maybe you wouldn't have even known about. Yeah. And some shortcuts actually help you grasp some of the like fundamental concepts of Excel. Okay. Like um, there's a bunch for formatting numbers. Okay. You know, like control plus shift plus dollar to format something as currency. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or control plus shift plus percent for percentages. Okay, I use that one all the time. Yeah, those are super useful. Especially when I'm doing my budget. Right. Speaking of budgets, that actually reminds me. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm building a budget in Excel. Yeah. And I need to, like, calculate a percentage of my income okay. for each expense category. Yeah, that's where absolute versus relative cell references come in. Okay, I always well, get those two confused. Yeah, it's a little tricky at first, but basically, okay. let's say your income is in cell A1, mm -hmm. and you want to use that same cell in the formula for all your expense categories. Okay. If you just type A1 in your formula and copy it down, right. it'll adjust the cell reference for each row. Oh, I see. So like, it'll become A2, A3, and so on. Right. right, right. But with an absolute reference, okay. you use dollar signs to lock that A1 cell in place. Oh, right. So no matter where you copy the formula, it's always referring back to that original income cell. Okay, and is there a shortcut for that? Yes. Yep. There is Command plus T. Command plus T. While you're editing a formula, we'll toggle the dollar signs. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so you don't have to type them out every time. That's huge. Right. It saves you a ton of time and potential errors. Oh, for sure. For sure. I'm starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed, though. I know, right? There's so many. But there are a lot. Where do you even begin? I would say start with a few that align with your most common tasks. Okay. Like, do you spend a lot of time navigating between cells? Oh, yeah. Master shortcuts, like control plus arrow keys. Okay. To quickly jump to the edges of your data. Are okay. you constantly formatting things? Pick a few formatting shortcuts okay. and commit them to memory. So find the ones that solve your personal Excel headaches. Exactly. And as yeah. you become more comfortable, you can gradually add more to your repertoire. What? It's like yeah. learning a new language. Yeah. Start with the basics and build from there. It reminds me of the first time I learned Command plus C and Command plus V. Oh, yeah. Copy and paste. Classic. It was like a revelation. Total game changer. I felt like I was flying through my work. Yeah, we all have our favorites. Do you have a favorite? I do. I love Command Plus One. What does that do? It brings up the Format Cells dialog box. Okay. So you can change fonts, colors, number formats, all that good stuff. Uh, Instead of clicking through menus, it's just one quick shortcut. Right, right. I can see how that would be super useful. Yeah, it's a lifesaver. So for our listener who sent in this amazing collection of shortcuts, mm -hmm. what's like the big takeaway here? 
I think the big takeaway is to think about all the time you spend in Excel. Yeah. All those little moments spent formatting, navigating, creating formulas, mm -hmm. even saving a few seconds here and there, it really adds up. Yeah. It's not just about speed either. No. It's about freeing up your mental energy. Yeah. So you can focus on the bigger picture. Right, like analyzing the data, making decisions. Exactly. It's like the shortcuts are clearing the mental clutter. Yeah. So you can actually think about what you're doing. Precisely. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe you'll discover your own shortcut. Ooh. That becomes your secret weapon. I love that. So listeners, <laughs> as you start experimenting with these shortcuts, we want to hear from you. Yes. Which ones become your favorites? Mm -hmm. What aha moments do you have along the way? For sure. Share your discoveries with us. Yeah. And until next time, happy spreadsheeting. Happy spreadsheeting. Bye. Bye.